Hello there, and this is the Mighty Shrew. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically have a look through Warframe and give you some idea of what's going on. Now, when you first log in, you do get a login reward. So this is 600 bonus XP for the gun, which is a rifle, and this is the login screen. So as you can see, I've unlocked two planets. Now, normally you only start with this single planet unlocked, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Now, first of all, I'm just going to go and have a look at the little options that you've got because when I first started playing there is no guide to tell you what to do so it can be a bit confusing now this on the left is the information about you yourself as a player and if I click this and it goes blue you can see that I'm actually a level one and my next rank is in 5000 XP I've played for three hours <coughs> and it gives you a whole host of stats there just uh, telling you how many kills you've got um, how many headshots etc etc you can check your ranking which for me won't be very good yep 64,837 and the top players which who will have played for a long time I mean you're looking at 171,000 kills there and they'll be quite high in the rankings in, in a time played as well now this blue is um, in-game credits so basically when you play a mission you will get credits give, given to you on your account and you can spend these in the shop to buy new weapons or research blueprints that you collect on missions so at the minute I've got 13,717 and this does actually go up very quickly while you're in a mission and this thing to the right is platinum now you do start with 30 maybe 50 I can't remember and you can spend this you can actually put like all free to play games you can actually buy more so it enables you to go to their shop use your actual money and put more platinum on your account and it enables you to unlock um, special uh, features such as different warframes which is the armor itself and special packs such as the, uh, the found, founding pack which gives you extra bonuses etc now this thing in the middle is how you want to play the game so at the minute I'm set to online you can go a private game where you invite your friends or you can go a solo which basically means you play by yourself on any of the missions but solo is very hard Okay, as you get more people playing with you, the missions do get harder as well because it puts more enemies in. So, if you want a private session and you just want friends, go to private. If you want to play online, you don't care who you play with, go online. Okay, the next one along is Arsenal. So, if I click on this, it shows you the rank of your Warframe. So, I've chosen the Volt, which is basically the electric one. I'm um, level, I'm um, rank 9, so that's the, that's my suit level, it's not actually my level, my level's still only 1, as you can see from this box here, but my suit level is level 9, and your suit and your weapons level up differently to how you yourself level up. So as I'm level 9, if I click this little spanner here, it takes you to the level up slots that you can go through. So at the minute I have no points to spend, but as you do missions, it unlocks points and you can put them into these um, boxes here okay so at the minute I'm basically spreading out I'm trying to get them all I'm not really concentrating on anything in particular this here <coughs> if I take this out is a mod slot and you collect mods during the game so this mod here is specifically for this warframe which will give me 13% armor so all you do to equip it is to drag the mod into the mod slot as long as you're the correct uh, level of the warframe so I only need rank 2 for that warframe you can apply it. If you click apply, it'll actually cost you some of. It normally will cost you some of your uh, your credits, but as I've already equipped it before, it doesn't. Now this below is revives, and it's incredibly important to the to how you play the game. If you get knocked down in the game, someone can come across along and actually revive you up. If there's nobody there and you have no revives, you will actually die, and the mission will fail. So what I would suggest is get your revives to full at all times. It doesn't cost much platinum, okay? Because platinum's the only thing you can use for revives to get your revives up to full. So the first 30 platinum that you get, I would use specifically for revives. And every single one that you use, it would only cost three rev three platinum at the minute to get a revive back, okay? So I would suggest definitely doing that. The next thing along from the spanner here is the color scheme. Now. Mine's red and white because I am a Sunderland fan, so that's why mine is red and white. But obviously you can put yours yourself. Now you only have a certain amount of colours unlocked. So as you can say, there's only the middle. If you want to unlock 
uh, any others, you have to actually spend your platinum in the store to unlock them. So that's one of the advanced features you can get. If I click on inventory, it shows me what weapons I've got, what warframe I've got, and what miscellaneous items such as blueprints and other items I've bought for myself to be used on missions. I'll just go back here and we'll go to the rifle. So the rifle is, I've actually unlocked a second level rifle. So I've spent my uh, credits on doing that. So I haven't got many of the th things unlocked at the minute, but I have got two <coughs> um, mods in it already. Okay, now, as as you go up missions, obviously I, I say, just as the Warframe does the same thing, you will get points to spend on the rifle, on the sword, and on the pistol. And these allow you to unlock these little extras. And obviously it increases crit chance. It doesn't increase it by a massive amount, but it can make a real difference in game. Okay, so I go out of here. The same, exactly for the same for the gun, and exactly the same for the close combat weapon. So that's fairly simple. Okay, going back to the top, the next one along from my arsenal is pretty self-explanatory. It's contacts, so I have a few contacts in there. All you do is type in the username here. So whatever the username of your friend is and then click add and they will get a pending request once they've got a pending request if they go to their contacts or if you've got one all you need to do is right click and it says accept request okay the next one along is the market which basically allows you to spend platinum on and uh, your credits on different things so like I said before I've got bundles so different images different um, survival kits etc but obviously all the top range stuff does cost platinum Okay, the warframes, like I say, you can unlock the blueprints to actually create the um, the warframes, or you can actually unlock the warframes itself. But to, just to unlock it straight away does cost platinum. To unlock the blueprint, to collect items to create the warframe, you can spend um, credits to do that. And there is quite a few blue, um, blueprints to unlock there. Yes, yeah, so if I go back. We've got weapons, which is exactly the same thing. You can unlock specialist weapons with platinum, or you can unlock them with cre uh, credits. The same with equipment, which is pretty much the normal things are uh, credits, that the, ex the very expensive things are platinum. And you can buy platinum, like I say, so all you need to do is go to that um, store, and it'll give you platinum. So we'll go and have a quick look. It may be the same. I'm not sure. And the very last thing here we have is Foundry. And this is um, where you create your items. So like I say, I've got one blueprint for a uh, ceramic longsword. And I had the items to create it. So I did create it. The items yourself you pick up during a mission. And you get them from boxes or you get them from enemies. It's quite easy to find the things. But it's quite hard to find the blueprints. So if we go back to the map. To start a mission, all you basically do is click on a planet, and it'll open and it'll open up all the options for the planets that you're able or the missions you're able to go on. Now you see next to it, you'll see a little person marker with a one or a two or a three next to it, and that's how many other people are on the missions at, this, at that time. So as you can see, there's two people on Terminus, there's one people, one person on Calaris, and there's one person on Apollodorus. If I wanted to join any, oh sorry, there's, t there's three on. Tolstoy as well. So if I wanted to join any of those missions, all I basically do is click on the planet. It says waiting for one vote. If I click on the planet, it will say beginning mission. And then I'll actually go into that mission. It may be that that person's very, very close to completing it. It may be that they've just started it. I just join when it's wherever it is, and then I just help them out from then. Now you are against the computer throughout this entire missions, so there's no person-to-person -person combat or anything like that. But it is still a really fun game and I would stress people to definitely get on there and try it out. Okay, and hopefully this has helped a few people who weren't really sure what was going on and needed a bit of help. So this is Mighty Shrew signing off. Thanks for watching.